Not ignore. Do you like oolong tea? I haven't had that much of it, but yeah, I think so. I Do mean, you actually? I I don't know. I don't. I haven't really had much oolong tea, but I mean, it's. What's seems wrong fun. with you? I just like we've haven't confirmed. Had it. Trogdor is literally Skylar in the story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, tea in general is pretty good. So. Very well. That's the temperature on the kettle at 200 degrees. What? I can't set the temperature on mine. That's cool. I'm all right. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for you. I mean others. Uh, even, I mean, I'm not an expert on tea or anything. I mean, it's, I can't. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. I feel like, well, okay, maybe. Yeah, maybe I will. Alright, sure, yeah. Gary fetches the teapot, again, is measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. That's weird. She's actually doing the emotions thing we just talked about. <laughs> you must be in a good mood huh. now. I actually don't have emotions anymore. <laughs> yeah. Is that so? <laughs> I was letting it show. For you, and you noticed. Uh, I was doing a bit of thinking. In the three seconds it took us to get to class. <laughs> I mean, you know, the water is slow when you're filling it. Yep. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a bit more by humming. Turns out it did not be very hard for me to do. Well, yeah, because we have emotions. It's just, you know. When it's you who's around anyway. Um, okay. Ah. That's, friends. that's great, Yuri. Yeah, friends. <laughs> best friends. <laughs> just don't push yourself too much. Ah, be gone, yeah. <laughs> Dial it back on the emotion. <laughs> <laughs> You're always worrying about me, Trognor. Am I? Two days it's very endearing. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if that's... Here was I'm kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. This is like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> You're like, huh? I mean, I watch your, your pour a cup of tea for each of us, and... Trognor, I have another request. Okay. Do you mind if you kiss? I mean, we sit on the floor today. I mean, I'm not great at sitting on the floor, but if that's what you Wait, want... Why? Then why? Sure. It's a little bit easier on my back. It's the opposite for me, but I mean, if that's what you want. You know, I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. But you could just hold but the book. Okay, well, I'll, okay, I didn't realize that. It has a back. Yeah. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Sure. I mean, that seems, I mean, aren't they, is this high school? I can't, yeah, right? I'm not implying anything that's by this. So you know me, that's no excuse for that. Because you're in high school doesn't mean you can't have back pain. I mean, it's just less regular is all. Have you seen that? <laughs> they all like bend uh, over Is there something you want to say stuff. about her model? Uh, it's very nice. <laughs> Anyways. She's very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that is. It's locally, most likely because of my... Uh, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes. I have terrible boobs. I mean, reading posture. That's why we shouldn't sit on the floor. Alright, fair enough, sure. Try yeah. ignore the most perceptive I'll go ahead and get the book. <laughs> Trade the book from my bag, and, uh, oh! Looks like I have some chocolate as well. I mean, small bag of chocolate candies are kept hidden from Sarah's candy right now. <laughs> she will steal it. She will Take manipulate it, you to get it. It'll go well with the tea, will it? I don't know. Sure. Here and I have been sitting in this wall, Chocolate teacups on her sides. Tea? I don't know. Never, have you tried? I don't know. I've never tried, like heard that before. <laughs> Oolong tea? Maybe? I don't know. As if in sync, we assume the same reading pos positions as last time, except on the floor this time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time. We have tea. Oh, our bodies are even closer together. Even closer to Trogner each other. is just sitting between her legs. I can't see yeah. too well. <laughs> well? Can you come closer? Wait, yeah. Okay, so it's closer, shoulder touching. Wait, now how am I supposed to focus on reading? This is kind of weird. I mean, she's oh, cuties. Kind of cute. I mean, she's being less apprehensive. It's almost more than I can handle. That's like gross. Your teacup. Hands me my teacup. Oh, cool. You're yeah. Holding, holding it with my hand. That's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Well, yeah, because it's like, what do you? What? Okay. What am I supposed to do with my hands? Now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. What? Why not? <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. Or she has and she's pretending not to. Because that seems more... Yeah. 
Where is her intense reading expression? I can only presume the world around her has faded away. Use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Not Which spilling the tea, of course. Yeah. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. Put the teacup between my legs. Fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah. Sorry. Let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You can have as much of this as you want. Ah, uh, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well... If I touch it, I might get smudges on the pages. I want to keep this in pristine condition. This... Ah, well, you're right. Yeah, it's a collector's item. Book. I mean, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, my bad. No need to apologize. Okay. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Yes, since you're such of a course. messy child. <laughs> Don't touch my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Opens the book with both hands. Oh, this, look at that. Don't we have got particle effect. Wow. Wow. Went all out. <laughs> all of it. So I don't have uh, any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. So just, alright, okay. Take a chocolate candy, pop it in my mouth. Nom 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 nom. Then I take another chocolate, I hold it up to Yuri. Doesn't even look away from the book. Simply just parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. It means I can't stop here. Wait, what? I don't know. Uh, hold on. Like... What? I don't know. It's kind of like a weird. What, little... What's happening? I'm like, <laughs> like, hey, eat some chocolate. She's gonna, ah, and I'm just gonna like throw the chocolate in her mouth. Just like, you know, just straight up eat. Appar <laughs> 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 Apprehensively yeet the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Oh. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... He's allergic to chocolate. Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... I'll ignore. Sorry? I guess I shouldn't have done that? Uh, that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that... Friends... <laughs> right? I mean, not really in this kind of context, but I don't know what you're Yeah. Yeah, that's all <laughs> it was. That's all it was. Yeah. Yep, just, you know, helping yeah. with chocolate. Just eat some chocolate like friends do. And you don't need to stop or anything. Okay, I I see. Ah, okay. Feed me. <laughs> the situation me has gotten more. really <laughs> tense. <laughs> Eyes returned to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that she can't even focus now. My heart <laughs> is pounding. She's looking out for chocolate now, just like flying from anywhere. Nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, and but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. Oh no. It's a fish, she's a seal, it's a fish, she's Darts. a seal, it's fine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I. Okay, yeah, no, chest, rising, falling, rhythm, or breast, yeah, okay. I tried not looking earlier, but now I'm totally looking. <laughs> Raise my arm. Uh, like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. Take the chocolate, place her mouth, there you go. Hot breath on my fingers. Okay, uh, everyone, uh, knock what? it the fuck off. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> He already jolts back. Jump scare! <laughs> it's time to share poems and not have babies. <laughs> Trognor, can you help Yuri put that god awful stuff away right now? Monica, we need to fight. That freaking like... weeb crap away. I, need, I feel like we need to fight. I mean, yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. You put a spell on me? I, I'll, uh. I'll, I'll take care of the cops. It was in the tea, wasn't it? You you roofied my drink. She, wait. All right. Yeah. She's a drug addict. Oh yeah, she. She drugged you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh no. I forgot about the crack. <laughs> Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor, and I pick up the bag of chocolates. That's what oolong is. <laughs> in the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. That was just kind of awkward. I don't know. There's something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Drugs. <laughs> Ooh, who do you want to oh share boy. our poem to first? Who are you gonna go with? 
Well, I mean, do we just show it to Yuri first, I guess? Do we just... Do you, you have the controls? Yeah. Sure, why not? Because we're just talking, so might as well just go... With... Monica... <laughs> Monica wants to fight me about tea, apparently, so... Not gonna, not gonna share with her yet. Let's see what you've written for today. Yeah? Okay. Alright. Sure. Dots. More dots. Gary stares at the poem with a surprise expression on her face. This isn't even Do writing. Do you, uh, like it? Trognor. This one might be even better than yesterday's. Well, yeah, I'm a quick learner. How did you even pick up on this so I quickly? Just what said. the f- What? <laughs> Just yesterday, I was telling you about the kind of techniques worth pra practicing. Well, maybe that's why I practiced. You did a good job explaining. Oh, good one. Hold uh, back. <laughs> I really wanted to uh, try to give it more imagery, you know. Yuri visibly swallows. <laughs> swallows the vomit in her mouth. How yeah. awful poem. Even her hands appear sweaty. Knees weak. <laughs> Arms are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to this. I'm well, thinking about mom's spaghetti for some reason. Used to spaghetti? What? I don't know! No, it's okay, it's fine. Just take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. She having like a panic attack with <laughs> what's happening? Know. I know that Yuri likes to just think before she speaks, so uh hyperventilating. Yeah. It's just like, oh my god, this thing is so amazing. I'm about to have a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> so I offer that patience to her. I'm not a patient person, yeah. I guess. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It sounds really stupid. But you see, someone motivated by my writing. Wait. <laughs> Just makes me really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Very nods. Really? I don't believe you, you liar. <laughs> I really only write for myself. Besides, People just laugh at me. Well, I mean, do you really think that? And Did Yuri nods. Did Natsuki literally do that, like, yesterday? Yeah, yeah. she's like, this is weak stuff. Huh. Yeah. Even your close friends that we already know do this? That we know you have? Thoughts. Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, uh, you want to share your, the poem you wrote with me today? Yeah. Oh boy. I hope it's as good as yours. I do. Is this one going to contain lampposts too? It's with you. Ooh. It happened in right. the dead of night. No, 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 no. Oh, right, It happened yeah. in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. What? I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, as some conscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. Enticing the beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity. Raccoon, courage. The moon increments as its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. Same, the very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. On perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. Raccoon has taken a following to me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. Raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, Raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feel myself again. Feed myself. Not yeah, she's, she's cutting her wrists. This is definitely what's happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or cutting other people's wrists. Either way, wrists are getting cut. But if, well, I mean, it would likely be her. I feel like it's her. Gotta be her. That's, that's my opinion. This, but why? Come on, why you gotta put the trash panda in this? Trash pandas did nothing wrong. And I mean, red pandas are life. A rush of blood. Oh, look at that. It's like, you know, just cutting. Oh, wow. Um. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. <laughs> it's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trognor was just sitting there thinking. 
Why is she killing raccoons? Like, <laughs> yeah. No, it's like, oh, she's feeding a raccoon. That's nice. Yeah. I wonder what park right. it's at. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, I mean, if I take it at face value, I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. It's about raccoons or something? I guess, I guess they're cool. That's pretty cool. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I like raccoons. I wanted to express this way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Eating animals? That it's those nice. sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. Okay. I, I've never heard of cuttings oneself referred to as an unusual hobby. Yeah. It's one way to put it. That's why she can't uh, express it herself about it, really. So, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Well, I mean, she's also probably herself because she wears long sleeves all the time to hide all the cut marks on her wrist. Aren't they all wearing long sleeves? Part of the uniform. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> the only- I was gonna mention it when they all got on screen again, but the only one that doesn't is Sayori. And that's because she has the jacket open. And it pisses me off because she's not like the rest of them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Because she's, like, lazy and she doesn't care. Uh, be because they're embarrassing, and people would make fun of me. And realize that you like need to Natsuki, see a I hate her. <laughs> and realize you need to see a therapist. Uh, yeah, that probably too. Don't you have anything like that, Trognor? Mm. Any dark secrets you want to share with me right now? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess so. I, I mean, I don't. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. Well. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Yeah, okay. Even if it's difficult sometimes. Some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I'd probably hate myself. You don't? Probably. I might be ranting a little bit now. But I'm glad you're a good listener. Yeah, uh huh. You're good at a lot of things. Not figure out what poems mean. Writing, listening, not talking while I'm talking. There really aren't many people like you, Trognor. I mean, that, that's exaggerating a little bit. I mean, I think I've seen another guy around somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be one. The anime club. Uh, yeah, they're at the anime it's club. It's just how I feel. Ah, that's right, I didn't go to the anime club. Dang it. Maybe we went to, like, an all-girls school. <laughs> I never thought I'd feel so comfortable around sharing my writing. Now, I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. And you're to thank for that, friend. It's, uh, nothing, really. But yeah, we're good friends. Yeah. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. Just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. 